One of the wonderful things about the Valley in general, and Northampton in particular, is that it's a place where there are a lot of really strong women. For anyone coming onto a building site for the first time, it can be really daunting. And having an expressly created safe environment, I think, is a helpful way to start getting more people feeling comfortable on the site. Pioneer Valley Habitat for Humanity has done Women Build Days and Women Build Weeks. Mm -hmm. um, we've done monthly, you know, 100% Women Build Days. Mm -hmm. um, but this is the first time we said, all right, the whole project is going to be a Women Build. I grew up in an era back in the 40s and 50s where women were just getting driver's licenses and there's a lot of debate about whether can a woman work a full-time job because they're so frail. We're looking for 70% more women on site. In 2013, 80 or 90% of our new volunteers that year were men. And then the next year, because it was our Women Build project, it was completely reversed, which is really, I think, an interesting thing for Habitat's mission as a whole, you know, that we have a lot of women volunteers, but if they're not here on the construction site, then we're missing out on a whole contingent of uh, potential workforce. What are you going to do? Camera, camera, cool. This kind of knowledge is never wasted. You may not be going out to build a house right this moment, but you'll understand more about how a home is built and what goes into it. Uh, it might even open up new possibilities for career directions for people. Even if it is something that feels like it's already available in our community, it still is helping push us over the edge and, and to keep more women involved in, in all of these different trades that they might not feel very comfortable jumping into. My name is Rachel Stevens. I'm an architect and I work for Maple Street Architects. My name's Alita Kennedy and I'm one of the partner families for this home that's being built here in East Hampton. Actually, We've been pretty productive. We've gotten all the work I had hoped to get done for the day done well before lunchtime. So we're moving on to For Habitat, of course, it gives them a larger pool to draw from for volunteers. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's a win-win all the way around. 